back to the services here. We haven't got, got to the customer's load just yet. But I thought I'll do a quick uh, quick little chat about something that's bothered me a little bit. We'll stop off to go and have a shower. It's great, this place does have a shower you can use. But it's free, so I'm not having a go. You know, it is a free shower, so I'm not having a complete go at them, but it is shocking. Can't use the toilets, as usual, typical Euro garages issues. Let's say not well cleaned at this one. That's probably their biggest failing. Well, not biggest, but uh, it sounds silly, this. Went to go and use a shower. Got into the shower, which seemed to be okay. It's probably marginally better than uh, the one at uh, Southampton that services there. But one major issue. They don't have nothing to put your clothes on or off the floor or hang up anywhere in there. Not even one hook. Not even one hook. Not even like a chair or anything that you could place your clothes on while you're having a shower and put your towel on. Boom. You know, wow, I don't think they've heard of hooks in this place because there's no hooks in these toilet cubicles either. You can see where they were and also been vandalised and yes, you can argue it's not the site's fault they get vandalised. That's stupid people who do that and it really bugbears me because it's people like ourselves who have to pay the consequences. Well, I, I very politely mentioned it I was popped into Greg's, there's other bakers available in there. I said, look, it's not your issue because I was buying some products from Greg's anyway, so I thought I'd just slightly mention it while I was in there. So I was going to have a shower, but there's no hooks in your shower and he's on. Yeah, he wasn't rude or anything at all, really. But he sort of said, uh, oh, that's a surprise. He agreed with me, saying, oh, well, that's a bit of a surprise because it's only been renovated not long ago. So yeah, so there's no hooks. I haven't been able to have a shower. I said, look, I'm not complaining fully because it is free, and you know, I suppose I'm a bit too protective of them. And uh, but then he had a little, I wouldn't say it's a sly comment, but a quick comment of saying, well, at least it, the only thing I care about is as long as the money keeps coming in. Because I, this is after I sort of mentioned, I know it's not your responsibility; it's the site management responsibility. You'll, I appreciate you, your company rents that off them or however it works. Well, it's not really their direct responsibility for that, but normally customer care would be, oh, I'm sorry to hear about that, so I'll pass it on to our management, or pass it on to the relevant people, or I'll have a word with the relevant people. Well, words of that sort of effect, you know, even if it doesn't do at least it's polite and Purchased and so I was saying, oh, as long as the money comes in, that's what all really matters. And it's just like, okay, you know. So the rest of us in here is very rubbish facilities. You could argue, but the shops are fine. <laughs> that's the important thing. Yeah, it's not the worst one out here, but I thought I'd just mention it. it's the services that's around Winchester. I'm sorry, I have not Winchester, around Warminster. Some Warminster services. I'm sorry to add this in. Sounds looking. And this is one of the funny e e Euro garages ones here because it's bizarre because some bits can be open, the toilets are shut between certain hours, and otherwise, the only responsibilities when the toilets are shut are portalies, which I'm currently watching. A caravanner, which I believe may be emptying his toilet system from his caravan into one of the portalies. I could be wrong, but so it looks like it in a way. Never mind, I'm not going to get involved with that. That's bleh. sorry about that. I do apologise if uh, if it's not very savoury what I'm saying. You know, if you're watching it the wrong time of day. But stuff you see when you're out on the roads. Normally, yes, where's a caravan to go empty the toilet? But normally in campsites they have specific places. So I suppose at least they're doing it here, out here, than taking it into the services. So, whatever. 
above my pay scale to worry about. <laughs> but, you know, those are toilets that were meant to be using out the hours, and that's more reason why I refuse to use the porter cabins here. Because you do not know what goes on in them. And <laughs> that's a perfect demonstration. Well, at least they look like they go clean it after. Maybe. Yeah, never mind. Whatever. I'm not a policeman, so <laughs> I'm not responsible for the site. I'm more commenting on it. Yeah, so hopefully you've enjoyed that. I'll just quickly. Oh, I think we're almost up to time to move off. Yeah, I'll let it roll over a couple of minutes. We'll turn this off as well. It's what it comes on. Yeah, so. It's, it's one of those things you run, run into out on the roads is people who don't care less. I know it wasn't the greatest person's fault really, but he didn't mean to add up as long as the money comes in, that's what matters. So that sort of tells me as a customer, you don't give a damn about, or oh, sorry for saying, give anything about, you know, the primary purposes of rest facilities. Let alone for truckers, you know. Bear in mind that's the only time I've been able to actually have a shower this week. And I've just gone in and found and went, I might have a shave last night where I was, but I didn't have any showers there. They have a shower here, but they have no hooks or anything to put your clothes on, so I'm not going to take a shower and put my clothes on the floor and bleh. You know, common sense. Yes, I could probably ask for a couple of plastic bags and put them on improvised, but why? No thank you, if they're not going to provide quick facilities, no thank you. Yeah, so hopefully maybe somebody sees this and goes, hang on, that's not white. Right. I know I'm not big enough and I doubt anybody who works here will see this video. But your garages, get a grip. <laughs> you know, it's... It's not funny anymore. It, it, at first, when you're brand new, a lot of them it was gleaming going into toilets. I'm not speaking about all your facilities everywhere, but a lot of them seem to be having issues with the rest facilities, to put it politely. And I'm not going to go into details because you should know what the f issues are. I can talk about some of them, like you go into some of the sites, there's literally only one toilet per female or male, you know, effectively. Give it a take. I know, yes, yeah, some of them it's because the size of the size, but some of them have been custom fitted out, and obviously that's been the second thought. The more interesting, which I know that's the primary thing of these sites, is to get your money, but if you don't have good facilities, it's going to put people off from coming. And as truckers, we'll just find some else, you know. I mean, as a truck stop just up the road, effectively. Yes, I don't know if there's showers there, but and they're not open all the time. That's one reason I popped here because they're not open on Sundays, and that's where I fueled up. You know, that's a lot better. Yes, there's the oil garages across the way where you pop over to go to Craig's there and all that. And yes, it's because the oil garages are quite heavily in this area. What I'm commenting on them so I've been to pretty much most of the ones that you can go in the truck to around here. And yes, yeah, some of them are niggly qualms I have, but some of them are common sense and you know cleanliness is the issue at quite a few of them or can be. Yes, I know you can't employ a clean to be there three four seven every minute of the day. I know they can be heavily used and all sorts of people go through, it, through them, you know, not to go into details. But, you know, and this is the issue in the UK is that there is truck stops but they're not many and they vary. You have some really brilliant ones and the other ones are, I'm not so good or they lack on the facility side, they're mainly a filling station and glorified paid parking area. Maybe a calf that's open at certain times. And yes, you have dodgy ones of those as well, but not going into that, but not, you know, the difference between what I've seen in the States where I've been over there is that a lot of their proper truck stops, you go in and you have 
cleaned shower areas so you literally get your own massive shower area to yourself yes you pay a lot of the time but a lot of it's part of when you paint the park anyway and normally it's quite reasonable out there they don't overly try to rip you off I don't think well, I've gathered what I've seen anyway they may do don't hold me to it I could be deeply wrong if you know more about the US truck stops I would like to know Yes, you hear horror stories over there as well and stuff like that, but uh, the stuff you see over here, you know, it's only on the facility side for, for truckers over here. It's laughable. And it's almost shocking. We are effectively like second to third, third class citizens, well, probably third class citizens, you know, at any rest facility, you know, sort of Temi, like a bit like scum in some places, you know. Yes, you could argue. You will arrive at your destination at 13.08. Some, some of the reasons why we get treated like that is because of other truckers. But, you know, this leads down the big old rabbit hole of, oh, if one person does it, that stereotypes everybody, so it makes everybody bad in that group. and. That means all truckers are bad and blah 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 blah. When actually the fact is it's probably one percent of truckers that are the ones shooting us in the foot. Maybe not precise that figure, but you know, a lot less than the actual good truckers out here. Believe it or not, there is a lot of good truckers, you know. Yes, there's some questionable ones, I hope you admit. I'll, you see one, maybe one a day, maybe if that but compared to the scale that we see reckless driving off car drivers and other motorists it falls into like well when did you see a bad trucker <laughs> you know I, I mentioned about 10 cars i've seen today and you know doing dangerous stuff not just to myself to others yeah i'm sorry for going on but <laughs> going back to the service issue it's just that it's a, it, and this leads back to the negatives of trucking you know that this is one of the things that can put people off from trucking Especially if they want to become distance truckers, you know, like myself, or, you know, truckers that live away from home on the truck. I still love my job, you know, and it's, it's not going to put me off from trucking this at all. But it's going to motivate me from, like this, vo vocally mentioning it, you know, advertising it out. So they've, so that's your garages here at Warminster's now got a bit of bad PR. Wow, <laughs> they've done well for themselves. I know, yes, the chances are me having any impact, nil. But if you don't say anything, nothing will happen. That's the same, I mentioned it politely to them in there. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'll speak to you later. I'd better look at getting a move on, get a shifty on. I'll speak to you probably when I'm loaded, as originally planned. And I do apologise uh, about this little chat. I might cut this out the main video as well, but I might leave it in the main video as well, if you know what I mean. Maybe it might be a good discussion point video. We'll see. We'll speak soon. Over and out.